getting gassed out here. It really smells like silver. Really got a strong, smelly smell. Can't see anything, but I can hear it. Right over there where there's a little bit of steam coming out. This is like the back side of that other basin. This is the lower basin. That was the upper basin, the last basin. And Norris Basin, by the way, is the hottest basin out of all the basins in Yellowstone. The ground is the hottest here. There's nobody down here. I'm all alone. Cistern Spring is the name of this one. It's pretty. Just an interesting view. Seems to be boiling rather well. These guys are used to rarely rub, but now it can rub within hours, within days, or within weeks. But I'm not going to wait around. This is just a steam vent on the side of the hill. This is Mystic Spring. This whole trail I'm taking is about two miles long. These features I'm showing are about every 500, 600 feet. This one's really pretty. You can see down into it. There, then a little move over here. Oh, I should have brought something to drink. This is the Huff and Puff geyser. Apparently, they don't shoot any water, but. Oh, I'm getting gas. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, man. We gotta get up with. Oh, that's better. That stinks. Volcano gas, sulfur gas. There's like two of them in there. These two things again. Look at this entire lake. This is the blue mud steam vent. I'm not sure why it's called blue mud. I guess it does look the mud around it looks a little bit blue, maybe. We get stuff sloshing around down inside there. Yellow funnel spring. I always heard spring water is good to drink. 
I don't think I would drink none of that. There's some stuff way over yonder. We're not gonna get over, get to go over there, but there's some stuff. We walk all the way down across there and around. Now we're heading back. I don't know if on the video you can hear that. I can sure feel heat coming out of that tiny little hole. I'm about five feet from it and I can feel the heat. This is a little steam engine. This right here used to be pork chop geyser and then one day it blew itself completely apart and it's no longer a geyser. Another view of pork chop geyser where it blew itself apart. Like we got one going off across the way. Get it now because it probably quit before I get over there. A little dormant. Guys, those are hot springs. Hard to tell what they used to be. This is Pearl, guys. I have no idea how they go off. Just looking, this thing must bubble up harder at times because of how far the wetness goes around it. There's a good example why you shouldn't walk around out here. Stay on these boardwalks. That ground could just collapse. See how that just goes on back and it's hollow. If you tried to walk out there, it collapsed on you and you land in boiling water. Never go off when I'm with Adam, but I gotta zoom. Doing pretty good. Palpitator spring. And then there's another one over here. Let's see what the name of it is. This is the Fearless Geyser. This kind of looks like the primordial ooze that we all started in like a billion years ago. Oh, okay. 
This whole thing is a crater from a geyser that blew up. Damn, I'd hate to be near this one. Something like this. This is the same thing that happened over there at West Thumb. Only on small, single small guy over there. The entire three mile section of park blew up. And this is Minute Geyser. It says choked by ignorance. It used to erupt 20 some feet tall and some visitors back in 1800 threw rocks in it. Another look at Minute Geyser. Okay, I made it to the thermal area. Point, point 0.6 miles. It's point 0.6 miles back. It's gotta be worth it. These are paint pots. Yeah, it looks like it's still enough to paint down there. If you can see that. Mixing. Whoa. It belts. That's a long way to go for that one little paint pot. Now I gotta go back. And we're headed down toward Madison and uh, Old Faithful. Big old volcanic hill on that side. And a bull and hot spring and a fumarole. Spring in Yellowstone. We're almost back. I can hear a big giant fume hole in the other guys I feel I can hear it. It's a big hill. So anyway, that finishes up North Skyser Basin. I gotta get back and give me something to drink.